My name is Ahmed Bougri. I am the director for the Foundation for Shelter and Support to Migrants, which is uh, the NGO responsible for the management and the operations of the Mass Open Center. When you come to this center, from the first day that a person is released from detention into this center, we have an orientation session. So for example, when you stay in this center and you don't have work, there are certain set times that you have to be responsible for your house chores. So the cleaning of your room, there's, there's a roster in, in the room. We are responsible for cleaning the common areas. But in each of the rooms, people have to be responsible for taking care of all their, their own private space. This is my bed. You have to clean the, in, in this hall for everyone has a window, come. So this room is 50. This room is called 50. This one is beds, all the bed, all the bed. And this one is uh, the number of people, the uh, ID of people, number of ID. Oh, this one is the name of people. That's mine, Hassan Jama, Ahmed, Hassan Jama, it's me. I'm cleaning 28. I was clean to 28th in November. In this month was finished. So everyone has to clean, have to clean here for every day, for every way. If you don't clean, they will cut for you the money, five euro. Secondly, you have to register for a course. So we have got language courses, which is English language courses. We have got basic computer training course. We've got a uh, food handling course. We've got a uh, health, uh, health and first aid courses. So these courses are meant to give people an opportunity to work outside. I didn't like it because the person he needs something that be satisfying him. The person uh, when they bring yeah. him here, they will give him a bit, and there is a room with approximately ten meters. Yeah. There's a lot of people sleeping there, and there is also when they give him the food, the people there is a list. You yeah, are making a big queue. Approximately two hundred person is making queue, and it's not a humanitarian. The person, if he taking something, he have to take respectfully, because if some problem happen in Malta and they come to me in my country. I was helping him like they're helping me now. Um, but I don't see good help that's coming from the Maltese people or the Maltese government. Good, 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 good. Uh, persons who live in the open center to prove that they don't work have to sign Monday, Wednesday and Friday and that entitles them to get a, gov a government subsidy for per diem for food. So if you don't attend these classes, then it is linked with your money for food. Yes. go inside. In here, there is a procedure, procedure. That procedure, for every month, everyone has a 130 euro in check. Whole week, in whole week. You have to sign the three days. You have to sign the three days. If you don't sign that three days only one time, they will give you half, 75, uh, 60, 65 something. If you don't sign two times, they will cut you all the money. And also they will take you extra money, eight euro. That's called contribution for the bed. If it's possible, I'm asking the European countries and even Maltese people to change a lot of things in this place because the people, they need to learn something also. They need uh, to get a very good food. Uh, maybe they need to get a job. They give the people 130 euros. 130 euros is not enough for the person. It's not enough for the clothes. It's not enough for the food. It's not enough for anything. 
But if they take him to a job and he get a job and he work, maybe he can satisfy himself.